Hello, everybody. This is Kai with more Let's Play Sui Code and one. Yeah, I kind of dragged off on the end of that. I apparently didn't realize I was gonna say one until right before I said it. So, yeah, my my tone on that was a little off, but that's okay because we're gonna ride an elephant. Yeah. Time to ride an elephant. Time to ride an elephant. There we go. Look! It's the elephant! I told you it was an elephant. What are you doing, kitty cats? Hey, do you know your dragon's an elephant? Now, it's worth mentioning, because I'm sure by now, if I actually have views on this, I'm, I've got at least one comment like, you're not playing this game right since you grinded so much money. First off, it really wasn't much of a grind. The whole thing was over in like 10 minutes. Secondly, weapons are only one stage. Yeah, my weapons are maxed out, but as I proved on the, on the walk that Ted and the main character had, it doesn't matter if you can't survive the first hit. You know. So, yeah, my weapons are teched out, but I'm still not super leveled right now. Blech. That is a cute dragon, though. You know, I would put the headphones in so I could hear this better, but I kind of don't need to. But I am going to turn up the bass sound a little bit, I think. There we go. And now we, uh, we wander and whoop ass, you know? RPG stuff. Okay, we got these little things. Now, you'll note that he has a unite attack. Uh, we'll get this guy right here. And she can attack in the back row as can Ted. I love how some of these attacks are simultaneous. having a run button. Battles like this are why the free will button exists. <clears throat> Things that just really aren't worth your individual attention. Because these battles are designed to be easily beaten. Now, I mean, there's there's not supposed to be, oh, you need to strategize properly, you're gonna die. No, not these. There are plenty of fights in that in this game that are like that, this just doesn't happen to be one of them. Since we have all the best armor and maxed out weapons right now, we're pretty much uh, golden. I still think it's funny that Pawn has, like, the weakest weapon of us right now. I don't think that's good for any of us. Oh, he doesn't even have it. Oh, no. 
we're uh, we're already ready, aren't we? Ah, you. Pretty sure wind rooms don't work that way. No, no. I do actually want to show this off. It's a four room. See, the problem with his boar rune is it unbalances him that turn, which means that I can't do anything with him this turn. I can't remember if he can use items or not, but it doesn't really matter. <coughs> so yeah, the talisman attack I don't think unbalances, so you can use it more than once, even though the boar rune I think hits harder. I think having Gremio attack and Pawn boar rune hits harder, but only once every other turn, as opposed to Talisman, which they can do over and over again. I think. Yeah, he's a bit of a nuisance, that guy. I don't think we ever come back here. So get your fill of it while we're here, I guess. Really go for a run button right about now. She's a teensy bit on the important side right there. <clears throat> yeah, that's all he does is bitch about being hungry. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, feed me! I think the real story is that uh, he got beat in a fight by me, but uh, I personally like the headcanon that we got him in our service by putting a sandwich under a box, and he went for the sandwich and we trapped him, and now he has to serve us. Such a friendly name, all lowercase and non-threatening. Yeah, he has it pretty rough for being an RPG protagonist. He really does. I mean, there are some rough RPGs out there, but I think he trumps most of the Final Fantasy people, at least. Maybe not Zidane. Zidane has kind of a rough moment. No, I think he beats Zidane, too. Such an asshole. Are you hungry? Here, Pawn, eat a Snickers bar. You're not yourself when you're hungry. Again, <clears throat> there's nothing in the rules that says you have to give that to Cleo, but pretty much everyone does from what I've seen.
BAMF! Nobody likes Ted. <laughs> yeah, now that I've done some thinking, I'm pretty sure it is a system of five party members and one guest. <clears throat> so, yes, I can have six people, but those are during story things, I think. But there are a lot of points where we're railroaded in who's in our party. I think, especially the last battle, I think there's like two or three required characters. But I could be wrong. And there are plenty of characters in here that, despite being very good, I never use. Keep in mind, there are 108 characters that are recruitable, counting yourself. And at least two-thirds of them are playable recruitables, including some of the fucking shopkeepers. Oh, I kind of want to see drag him into the theater. Ah! Bye, elephant. Saying that reminded me of a show I used to watch as a child called Sharon Lois and Bram's Elephant Show. I should look that up sometime. Ah, oh, this guy. Smack him. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. You're not my superior, you're my boss. There's a difference. Yeah, he's kind of a scummy. Now we're gonna do the Rockland thing. Kanan follows. Yeah, he's not actually a party member. I don't remember if he's recruitable or not. There is... That's a spoiler, never mind. Let's just say there are a couple characters in this game without faces that are not recruitable. And there are a couple that are recruitable who you can have executed. And I really don't remember which is which. <laughs> you know? I think I'm going to have to go to Rockland to get this uh, crystal grafted onto me. Oh, right here. Here we go. All right, let's power up our Cleo. Shit, Gremio has Give it up. Okay, I did put it on him. And yes, Ted has a room, but we're not privy as to what it is just yet. Near as I can tell, we can never, ever just use it like that. Uh, as I recall, I can remove a rune with literally no, no consequences. Like, it's not gonna hurt us or anything to remove a rune. Don't lose it, nothing stupid like that. I guess we'll hit the end for now. Yeah, Cleo, uh, that's pretty decent magic progression, you know. 
Like I said, she's a very, very good party member to have. I, I'm pretty sure that I consistently have her in my party, except when there are certain unison attacks I want to have. Like, there are a couple that require more than one hit per, well, more than two people, rather. There is one that requires five. Oh, so wait, no, I guess you can have five people in there, because there are, like, five blacksmiths, and you can have them all in your group. You. You and I are going to have a talk with it. Because I don't remember how long he's in this town, but I'm at least going to have him in long enough to do the thing. I'm going to have him in here long enough to do one last money grind where I'm pretty much going to max out my money. He doesn't have a face. <laughs> this little scumbag thought that, uh, didn't realize that, oh yeah, as part of the guard, we're supposed to, you know, guard people. We're part of the Imperial Guard. What does the Imperial Guard do? It guards the Empire from bandits. Seriously, this isn't even a, oh, I want to fight thing. This is a, hey, this is my fucking job thing. I do not. East. Okay, I can do east. Um, <clears throat> there was another thing I was doing. Oh well, it doesn't matter right now. Grammyo is kind of a little bitch, but is in the awkward position of being a badass little bitch, you know? I mean, I I don't like the character, but I understand that he's a ferocious fighter. He's not someone that you really want against you, you know, because he'll fuck you up. Look at that, he hits almost as hard as, well, hits as hard as anyone else and almost as hard as I do. There we go. There's some level ups for us. Now, there are a couple branching paths in here that we will be exploring. There we go. That's the one I wanted. Ooh, a defense room piece. That's useful. As I can tell, XP or levels are every thousand XP, but the XP rate changes based on level. Like, for example, these guys right here are one thing now, but I think at some point it can get as low as like two XP per enemy, you know.
Like, Ted and I are gaining 160, whereas they're gaining considerably more than that. Nope, don't want to go there yet. Want to get all the treasures. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to max out my money, which should hold me for a sizable portion of the game. You know. It will not get me through the game, trust me on this. But it'll make it so that for quite a while I won't have to worry about money. Which will save time because I won't have to grind. Oh yeah, sometimes uh, they'll not only dodge, but they'll repost. Repost? They'll counterattack. Sometimes I hate the English language. Something looks like it should be said one way, but it's spelled a completely different way and pronounced. Of course, it's not like some of the other languages are better. Useless. Useful, but not now. guy with a boar rune beat up a boar. Treasure, treasure. Nice. Not a huge amount of money to me anymore, but once upon a time it was. If I didn't know any better, I'd swear that uh, they were in the chest, like the monsters and trap chests and stuff. But I don't think this game does that. That was just bad timing on the encounter part. But yeah, given the enemies that we're up against now, like we're all level 6 and so, you know, if we were to get a level 1 person dropped in our party, within a few battles they'd be caught up for us. I know I keep saying that. You'll see it in action much later in the game. Ah, that thing. I remember that thing. That thing's significant. And not just because it's the boss. It, it, it marks a very significant turn in the storyline. Yeah, even after years of not playing this game and forgetting so many things, I still remember this moment rather vividly. Impressive considering how early in the game it is. And this is weird. With some RPGs when you play them, you peter out in the front. Oops. That's the kitty cat alarm clock. I'll feed them after this video. But in this game, you tend to, uh, to wear out towards the end. Do, 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 do. Now there's a reason I did that, and I'll show off why. Oh look, more of them. I may as well just keep going. Normally I wouldn't be doing quite so well, but oh, here. I forgot. 
forgot she did things. But uh, it's because my weapons are so high and we're decently leveled. I think that actually was the hell attack. Some of the rune pieces have special effects, but I forget what they are exactly. Well, I know the water rune piece restores health. So that's going on my weapon. But I don't remember if the others do anything besides just, oh, now you do thunder damage, you know? Ah, remember when I was talking about save crystals? This is what they look like. Pretty sure we, yeah, we've more than doubled our level since we started this episode. Which, hey, I'm game. Stabby, stabby, flashy, flashy. Funny thing is, I did neither stab nor slash with those two attacks. I bonked and shot. Ah, these guys. Oh, look! A face! Another face! They must be important. Don't you join in their games. I like Cleo. She keeps everyone on track. Oh, these guys are serious. Yes, because you picked a goddamn fight with them, you tard. I'm not sure if it's because of level or armor, but we're doing a lot of dodging. I think sometimes enemies will run. I don't think he's going to, but sometimes I think they do. Especially when you outnumber them like we did to him just now, where you can start out with a lot of them and then they're down to like one. Right, we will uh, take out Barkus first, just because. Now we'll show off uh, her attack. Ah. And that fucks that up. So fast! Yeah, 
And that's Jenga. No, I kind of died. So did you. Yeah, you, you didn't even cheerlead for us. Get some pom-poms or something, man. Oh, it freaking auto-walks us. Medicine can revive in this. There are a couple games where that's the case. Aha! Now I feel really stupid because all those times I've been going back to the freaking inn to revive people and I could have just medicine them. I don't think it works in battle though. But uh, yeah, here we go. Anyway, uh, we're going to call it here for now. I'm going to uh, save my game, feed the cats, you know, and the dog. And then I am going to chunk my money up. Actually, no. I'm going to wait to do that. We're going to do the storyline thing a little bit first. And then, before we have to leave here, we'll what the balls. Sorry. Who the fuck do you think you are? Wow, this hallway's oh, kind of crowded now. Oh, 10,000 bits. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pocket money to me now. I have more than that now. Now, see, normally that would be an unheard of amount of money, but, uh, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of stupidly rich right now. So, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!